tubs. So it's Friday afternoon. Uh, we've been driving for a few hours now. Uh, got good mate Tommy in the car, heading up to New South Wales to hopefully get around a few boars and foxes. Um, this is Tommy's first major trip, uh, just new with the bow, so what are you hoping to get out of the trip? It's such a steep learning curve for me because it's the first time I've been on a like multiple day hunting trip. Yeah. Like I can't... Because you've only shot rabbits and hares. Rabbits and hares. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So everything's, everything's new. Well, yeah, pigs, foxes. And, yeah, I'm pretty excited just to film and just be out in the bush, not be working. Yeah, totally. I'm as nervous as I am excited. Like, I don't oh. know which one is, no. like, winning at the moment. It's all excited. At some, point, some points, I'm, like, super-duper excited, and then I really start thinking about what we're in for, and I get really nervous. I'm like, oh, shit, my heart starts beating really fast. I start sweating a little bit. Oh, that's why we're here. It's awesome, man. I can't wait. But anyway, hopefully it's a great trip, and we'll see what we've got in store. Given the drought in New South Wales causing pig numbers to be at an all-time low, we started our search at first light at the few remaining dams and watercourses that still held water. Looking for any form of sign, any indication that our quarry may have passed through there in the days leading up to it. We followed up any fresh sign into the bedding areas, though it did not generate the opportunities we were hoping for. All we found was the constant influence and reminder that the drought had had on the pig population. After the disappointing result of the first day, it was shaping up to be a very trying trip. On the second day, the decision was made to hunt the river that weaved its way through the back of the property. At first light, the sights and sounds of the bush came alive and it wasn't long before we started seeing game. Oh, you would have just seen me um, shoot over that cat. It's just around the middle of the day now. We've just been following the river, and yeah, just saw it either coming toward or changing bedding, bedding areas, and um, we were able to intercept it. I thought I was about 25 meters off the um, the cat, and I had my 20 meter pin, so I aimed sort of at the tips of his ears, and we just ranged it, and it was only 18. So um, just my stupid error, and yeah, obviously just shot over the cat. So it's pretty frustrating. Um, you don't get too many opportunities on cats, but keep going and hopefully find some pigs or goats. So, yeah.
we've come out this morning um, and yeah found this mob of goats and yeah Tommy had first stalk I'll let you fill the people in what happened we saw a mob of uh, goats coming towards us on the tree line then we saw a couple of small billies coming through a group of trees that were just off the tree line so I made a little dash and just waited for these two little billies to feed in towards us and I uh, got a shot off at about 25 and uh, I was watching my goat go down and I turned around and heard a heard another shot go off and yeah so I the rest of the mob um, kept following the other tree line and um, this nanny and a few other nannies were just making their way in and yeah we're just we're saying we want to shoot a few goats for meat so um, this nanny was perfect and fit the bill so she she fed in to about oh, less than 10 meters and just self videoed her and yeah, she made it maybe 40 meters after the shot. So nice bit of meat and hopefully a few more. We've got um another few day, a few more days here, so hopefully we can get a few more kills. It's been good. Well done, mate. Thank you. Thanks for helping. Here's this boy you would just see me shoot. Uh, we were making our way along the river this morning and concentrating our efforts where we found out the farmers are putting beans for the, the sheep because they're in such bad drought. And yeah, noticed this fella as he was making his way back to his bed and he ended up meeting up with another small mob of pigs, with a sow and a couple of suckers. Um, and when we first saw him, the wind was sort of wrong, so I had to come in from a different angle and come in. And the only shot that was sort of presented was between all the logs. Um, and I was sort of, had to shoot him pretty high through here, but it's popped out just under his chin. Um, 175 grain Oz cuts done this job, and the was only made it about 50 meters or so out of his bed. So, really fat um, young pig, but yeah, first ball that we've seen for the trip, any size. So, it's good to get him on the ground. split up um, just to try and cover as much ground as possible and I've ended up finding a bunch of the billies that we, um, we've seen we saw a few days ago but they ended up giving us a, a slip in the thick timber. So here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
There it is. Well, here's this nice billy that I shot yesterday afternoon. Um, just finished up the hunt, come back this morning, about to leave. Great trip and hole. Um, I mean, we've, we've made the most of the opportunities we've had. It was pretty hard going, we've done a lot of Ks, but when you got good mates and in such a, I mean, it's in pretty bad drought, but it's still great just getting out and going for a walk. So it's been an awesome trip. Um, Hope you guys enjoy watching the video because we've certainly enjoyed making it. So thank you and enjoy.